hello from Istanbul. I have been waiting for this moment for a while. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So it's a little crazy getting out of the cruise terminal. Budget 10 to 15 minutes, because you have to like go through and scan your barcode. Um, Plus it's kind of like a zigzag to the import. So we opted to do a private tour. The link is down below. We found it on Viator. We had a private guide and a van for the day. Although we did mostly walk in use the van a whole lot. We got to see Topkapa Palace. I hope I'm saying that right. Now that was the line for Hagia Sophia. And I'll be honest, we did not do it because the lines were trending two hours that day. And there were so many things I wanted to see. Now you see this skirt here, your legs have to be covered when you come in here. Women have to have scarves on their head. That skirt that that gentleman was wearing is actually a free rental. So if you forget, there is a backup. This mosque was absolutely stunning. And if you think the inside is beautiful, the courtyard, I believe, is just as beautiful. It is so, it's just stunning. Here's a little pro tip. If Hagia Sophia looks like it's super packed, come here first. Because even though the line might look long, it only takes about five, 10 minutes. Bosporus that we call. Bosporus is the name of the strait between Europe and Asia. So one side is Asia, one side is Europe, and this is Golden Horn that we call. We absolutely loved our guide. He took us all around and gave us all the best tips, information, and a lot of history on this beloved city. After this, we headed to the Roman Cistern, which I was so excited for. Honestly, this is the highlight of my trip. Take your photos in the beginning of the cistern at the end of walking around. The colors, it just, it, this was incredible. Seeing the Medusa heads, it can be a little lengthy, but totally worth it. If you do anything in Istanbul, this is my vote. I love this. I just thought it was incredible. Then we headed here for lunch. Everything we had was fantastic, and this restaurant is actually on the Michelin Guide. Now, after we wrapped up lunch here, I do wanna tell you, we did try to go back to Hagia Sophia, and the lines were just still incredibly long, and we only had a short amount of time being there on a cruise. So we decided to see how rugs are made. In material. Okay. It can be silk. Wood or cotton, which... I will tell you, seeing this was absolutely incredible. I had no idea this is the way that these rugs were made. They will put on an absolute show for you. They do ship to the States, but I will say, don't think you're just going to find cheap things here because this is a craft, this is art. After here, we headed to Tree of Life Ceramic. They actually let Olivia make a little bowl, which was such a cute experience. We did end up buying a couple pieces from here. Links down below if you want to check them out when you're here. Then of course, after this, you cannot come to Turkey and not get Turkish delight. I tell you, when they bring you in these little shops, there's spices, teas, candies, Turkish delight, you name it. They bring out absolutely everything for you to sample. At first, I was a little suspicious of these teas. I am not typically a big tea person. There's a couple things that I like, but I'm very picky. But they were incredible. We actually ended up buying a bunch to take home. We brought a bunch of Turkish delights home. They pull out stools. You were treated like absolute royalty in these shops. They literally set up a whole tasting for you and make you feel like you're coming into their home. Even in the rug shop, as you saw, they brought out tea for us to sample. It's just part of the culture and it's incredible. Well, we made it back on board. I hope you enjoyed this video on Istanbul. Let me know down in the comment section if this is a place that is on your next itinerary. See you later.